This kind of comment has come up a lot in my video on Ruby bridges, and my answer is no, I didn't learn about this in school. I learned about integration to a certain extent, but we really only learned about the Little Rock Nine in Arkansas a few years before Ruby bridges. I didn't learn about Ruby bridges in Louisiana. I didn't learn that she's barely retirement age right now today at 67 years old. I didn't learn that as a six-year-old little girl walked into school that there were grown white women hysterically crying and fainting as a result. As a result of their racism that a six-year-old little girl was walking into a school. I didn't learn that they threw rocks at a six-year-old girl and her mother. I didn't learn that four federal marshals had to walk a six-year-old into her elementary school so that the white people wouldn't hurt her. I didn't learn that white people put a little black baby doll inside of a coffin and paraded it around as a six-year-old little girl tried to go to school. I didn't learn that Ruby Bridges couldn't eat the lunch provided by the school. She had to eat the lunch that her parents provided for her because they were scared that someone was gonna try to poison her. I didn't learn about the white adults and the white children outside her school singing glory, glory, segregation, the South will rise again. I didn't learn that 500 white kids were pulled out of that school because Ruby Bridges went there. I didn't learn about how grown white adults yelled slurs and threats at a six-year-old little girl. I didn't learn that the black children had to apply to go to the white schools that the white kids could just get to go to. I didn't learn that out of the 137 black first graders that applied to go to integrated schools, only five of them were accepted. And Ruby was the only one accepted to go to the elementary school that she went to. I didn't learn that in retaliation for Ruby going to an integrated school, her grandparents were evicted from their farm. I didn't learn that when Ruby Bridges was in the first grade, there was only one teacher at that school who was willing to teach her, Barbara Henry. And I didn't learn that for that entire school year, in the first grade, Ruby Bridges was alone. No other kids in that class. In class, alone. Ate lunch, alone. On the playground, alone. All year. Every day. Didn't miss a day. So no. I did not learn about Ruby Bridges in school, and I doubt that many of us really learned about Ruby Bridges in school. And if some people have their way, Black history will get even more and more diluted in public education.